This will put you to sleep. Okie dokie, coming in from、uh, Rofi. Rofi have sent me their white noise sound machine. This is the N600, as opposed to other models in the series. Something a wee bit different. This is something I haven't done before. So,、um, yeah,、uh, the idea of an, a white noise machine is to help you sleep. It does multiple sounds. It's got a memory function, auto turn off timer, a sleep light, and fall asleep easier. There's a kitten napping on the back, and it reiterates those there, and there isn't anything sleeping on this side. So,、uh, I've never used a white noise machine before. I remember getting like a, a humidifier type thing that、uh, would try opening the box correctly. A humidifier type thing that would、uh, burn oils and, and put them in the air and help you. Breathe and, and stuff like that while you sleep. Right. So inside we have steps for your free gift. Wow. When you enter orders, enter a five star review, you'll get a free gift. Which you could have money, 15 money back or zero pressure eye mask. Zero pressure eye mask sounds fantastic. <laughs> no pressure. Right,、uh, and we have the manual, which is in various different languages and a very, very tight bit of plastic around the unit itself. Jeepers. Right, so this uses micro USB. I don't know if that, I wouldn't say that is a, a failure right out of the box because this is the sort of thing you plug in and have this down the back of a, a chest of drawers. I'm not going to get, I'm not going to mark it down for having micro USB because it really doesn't matter when it comes to this sort of thing. Right, plug it in here.、Uh, yeah. So, on the back, we have the micro USB. We have a button that says 60, 30, 60, infinity. Okay. 30, 60, and infinity. And then a headphone jack. On the bottom, we have a couple of rubbery feet to protect the table.、Uh, around the front, we have a down arrow, a Play it again, Sam, or a, a continuation one, a power button, and a plus and minus. And then on the top, we have a sun and some、uh, rain storms, fan, heart monitor. Oh, like, like for a baby. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Well, we'll plug her in and see what happens when we turn it off. Okay, well, it gets quite loud.、Um, that's static, I'm guessing. We press this down arrow to get to the next sound.
Right. Okay, so the, the features really are, there's multiple sounds, it has a memory function, there's an auto-off timer, there's a sleep light, and you can fall asleep easier by using things with the natural soft sounds. So initially, I'll say that the speaker isn't great. Um, it, it's not, it's not bad. I suppose about five years ago, we probably would have gone, or maybe even 10 years ago, that that's pretty good. But speakers have come a long way. And if you think about the size of a speaker that might be in the bottom of say, a tablet or a phone, uh, it's, it's obviously on a much higher level of detail than, than this in saying that. No, I wouldn't even say it. It, it. it does get loud, but you lose a lot of the quality once it gets loud. The th that's a touch sensor for the the light, and I'm, I'm guessing that these around here show different types of light. That's that. Ah, right, okay. You can see there the the heartbeat is highlighted. Press it again, and that's right. Okay, so pressing that changes this to here to the propellers. Okay, that's uh, that's what the back of an oil tanker sounds like. And then we have static there. Pressing that just changes the bulb configuration. Then pressing this one gives us different types of static. Then we've got bird sounds. Oh, was that the sea? I thought that was a giant scorpion. Right. something. Could sound better. That's uh, Dr. McCoy scanning for life forms. <laughs> That's also from Star Trek 4. Right. Okay. So it does stuff. It, 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 there, we had a good tour through some of the sounds there and they're not bad. They're not great, but they're not bad. Um, and round here you can change. That means it goes on indefinitely over this side. It means it goes on for 30 minutes, 60 minutes and indefinitely. What is missing is the ability to a start it remotely. So if you're having trouble sleeping and you don't, you have to get out of bed to go over and turn this on. Um, or you turn it on and then go and get into bed. On the other hand, having some sort of remote control or a Bluetooth function would be great to, to get it going from your phone without having to get out of bed. So from the money at £36, this is overpriced. Very much so overpriced. You would be better off buying a smart assistant because it has all that kind of stuff built into it and more. If you were to pick up an Echo Dot or a Nest Home Mini, the speaker is much better. Yes, it doesn't light up like this, but there are apps that allow you to perform what this is trying to perform. Plus you also have a digital assistant to be able to record all your calendar thing. I can't really recommend this Un unless that you have some 
need for it where you don't trust smart speakers. That's a potential. Yep, you might need to go and get yourself one of these because it's not connected to the internet in any way. Fair point, fair point. In which case, the speaker's not great. You might need to use that headphone socket, which is a, an interesting addition to get a better speaker on there. However, if you were to wear headphones wearing this, I would actually recommend going and getting something made by Anchor, the, one of their sound cores, because their additional suite, their app that comes with it, does all of this and much, much more for in and around the same price for the Q20, or if you want to spend another 20 quid, the Q30 does it as well. So I wouldn't say that this is a great success by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I, I, people have bought it. There are reviews on Amazon and they're using it for their baby. Yes, this will work for babies and hopefully get them off to sleep and, and the, the heart thing, but it doesn't scream out babies from the box or packaging or even the look of it. When my son was a child, we had a similar thing that was the same shape as a sheep and it would glow too. And it would, and he loved it. It hung inside his, his cot. That's better than this. But that might work better in some people's nurseries. So let me know if you have any questions. I'm not going to test this out. I don't want this playing in my bedroom <laughs> because I'd like to get some sleep. But let me know if you have any thoughts in the comments box down below. Hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. Remember to tune in to the Tech Addicts podcast on a Sunday afternoon. There's a new podcast every week at the moment. And of course there's Talk Sport as well. Inspect your gadget at half past midnight on a Wednesday morning. And other than that, take care.